The Devil Conspiracy was incredible fun to work on. It's my first step into the horror thriller genre. If you're familiar with my other work, it's usually rooted in family entertainment with lush, melodic, orchestral scores. This one is quite the opposite. This score leans heavily into synthesizers and sound design, but the movie also has a religious aspect to it, so we also um, included Baroque choirs, classical choirs, and pipe organ, but we also have electric guitars, so it's quite the eclectic mix of styles that I've never gotten to do before. As a composer, it doesn't get much more fun than this. We had some great religious themes that Anne wrote using pipe organs and choirs, and then the horror scenes were all about crafting tension with synthesizers and sound design. This is also the first time I had a synth designer on my team. I asked Callie Wang to join us and create sound specifically for the score of this movie. What's cool is the custom zebra patches by Cali have these additional modulations built in that are controllable with the X and Y axis, so you're able to perform them in real time to match what's happening in the scene. The beauty of writing a synth and sound design based score is the absolute freedom that comes with it. When you write for the orchestra in a traditional way, it comes with all kinds of rules and limitations and restrictions. There are just certain things that you can and can't do with acoustic instruments in a physical space when you want them to sound realistic. But once you leave that sandbox, you realize there's a whole beach for you to explore with new places to go. The rules no longer exist. Once you go into electronic and experimental territories, you have absolute freedom. You can do whatever you want. The moment things aren't required to sound realistic anymore and you're not tied to the limitations of acoustic instruments, it's just a different world. I think that really unlocked a new kind of creativity and curiosity in me. And for these really tense horror scenes that take place in the lab, we spent a lot of time finding just the right synth sounds, often tweaking those and combining a bunch of them as well. You're essentially building this sonic landscape and it's as much sound design as it is composing. We were really lucky that our director Nathan allowed us to experiment and go crazy and just gave us enough time to try things out. There were times I was convinced we'd gone too far, but I'd still send the piece over to Nathan to just see what he thinks, but I'd backpedal immediately and just say, you know, I think this might be a little much, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. 
and usually he would reply with, I love it, this is just the right amount of insane for this movie. Next to purely synthesized sound, we also experimented a lot with distorting natural sound sources. The scientists in the movie take something sacred and pure and turn it into something unnatural and warped. And so we tried to do the same thing in the music. We'd use actual distortion, pitch bend acoustic instruments, run them through reverbs with heavy modulation, we used shepherd tones, we stretched things in time and pitched things down and back up to create this feeling of otherness. Something beautiful and familiar has now been taken and turned into something that just sounds foreign. When I saw the movie for the first time, I thought this would be a great opportunity to use Baroque choir techniques, basically old church music, and combine it with synthetic sounds. It matches again what the cult scientists are doing in the movie, where they take ancient DNA and they combine it with modern technology to create something new. Anne brought me into this project to create vocal scores for this film. Based on previous projects, we had a special challenge in this case, and it was the lyric placement. As we know, there are a lot of sample libraries um, that you can create words, but it can be a little limited and it cannot get you exactly what you want to say. So we had to work as a team in this case a little bit you know back and forth between me and the composer uh, to ensure that the the vocal parts had the right words uh, to get the the, the right uh, feeling and uh, excitement that the vocals will bring in to this fantastic score This was a very involved process, both on a technical level but also musically. Choir and lyrics, it's a tricky thing, so I would just kind of have placeholders for the lyrics, then I'd send it over to Andres who would notate the thing, then I would add the lyrics to the sheet music, then I would send the sheet music over to the Netherlands where we recorded four classical singers at Edge Tip Studios, and they would overdub every single line eight times. I would mix it to make it sound like an actual choir, and then I'd have to go back into the mock-up into the phrase builder and kind of try and match what the singers had been doing, match their performance, so that I could mix the sampled choir into the live singers to thicken up the sound and give this illusion of a huge choir that we did not in fact have. <laughs> Thank you. 
this film gave us the opportunity to not only work with choir but also be more experimental with choir and we thought about how we could portray the cult that is working towards the rebirth of the devil and the actual moment in which they achieve that and so we decided to write and record a choral And we took that, partly pitched it, stretched it in time and processed it to an extent to which we can still hear the original choral, but mixed with voices that seem to be from a different world. And this creates this nice symbol for the cults being in the real world and the devil trying to escape hell. I really love the theme that Anne wrote for Father Morricone. It's got these guitars and a western sound that establishes that he's sort of a cowboy figure who's now got to go fix this mess that's been created. This movie has a very strong thriller aspect to it as well. I rarely get to write huge dark action music with big drums and way too much brass and electric guitars and all that. So this was just huge fun to do. The action scenes utilize lots of percussion, brass and some driving synthesizers. This was such a different approach to not think about chord progressions and orchestration and voice leading and melodies, but to look at the picture and really think about what surrounding atmosphere I want to create and how I'm going to achieve that. It's more like I want to compare it to painting sound in a way. It's almost more like creating a specific energy and color to a scene rather than writing streamlined traditional music. I can't stress how much I enjoyed this process and how freeing it was. So yeah, I can't wait to do this again. I'm excited that The Devil Conspiracy has a wide theatrical release because it's a movie you really want to experience on the big screen with a big sound system. Have you ever heard the song of angels? Have you seen their kingdom come? I ended up writing a song draft for the final scene of the movie and the end credits. 
And I was lucky to have Kia on board again to go over that draft and refine it. She's an incredible lyricist and singer, and she has this way of giving everything a slightly modern touch. Have mercy. The songwriting process is always different. In this particular case, Anne sent me a draft of the song where she used lyrics from the script, and I just tweaked it here and there, and then we recorded it, and it turned into this beautiful song. Have you seen the eyes of demons? Have you heard their twisted lies? Although I played a very small role on Anne's team, it was very fun to be a part of a song that captured the emotional essence of the score, as well as the emotional essence of the story. <laughs> 